What's going on guys? Matt Allen, Tim Little, welcome back to Tactical Bassin. Happy 4th of July. You know, Tim and I could not think of anything in bass fishing more American than frog fishing and boat flipping. So we are out here on the water today to have some fun. We promised you a couple months ago to do a video about how to safely boat flip fish. Boat flipping being not using a net, not lipping them, but swinging them into the boat. Love it or hate it, it's here to stay. A lot of guys do it, so you might as well learn how to do it right. How to do it where the fish are taken care of, your equipment is taken care of, and you minimize any issue. So we're just gonna have some fun today, see if we can catch some frogfish. We'll show you how to do it right along the way. I do have to admit, Standing up on the front of the boat with no shirt on, shooting carp with a bow. That's pretty American too. Not a bad way to spend the day. So guys, there's a couple ways to do this. When you swing that fish into the boat, if you gotta land them on the carpet, either bring your net along and leave your net on the deck. When you swing that fish in, land them on that net because it's gonna be cooler and better for the fish than that hot carpet. Option number two is get your carpet wet ahead of time. Literally splash some water up here and land them on the wet carpet. But three, and more ideal, is when you swing that fish in, bring them in low and catch the line with your hand. If you can do that, it's obviously better for everybody. It's better for your gear, it's better for the fish, it's better for everyone. But the actual method of boat flipping, the biggest mistake that people make, well, there's two. The biggest mistake for your equipment is called high sticking. Meaning when you swing that fish in, you do it with too much line out and you end up having to point that rod almost up as you bring them in the boat because you had too much line out. When you do that, you really run the risk of exploding the top portion of your rod. You just blow the tip off the rod. The second mistake when you bring those fish in hot is that they just land and just plow all over the boat and you're tearing that fish up for absolutely no reason. Obviously you don't want to do that. So your ideal situation is bring that fish in, use their momentum. You'll see sometimes boat side where we're, we got a fish and we're like swimming around in circles and you're going, why are you doing that? You're trying to get the fish to work with you. You don't want to try and flip them while they're trying to swim away. You want them to turn around and come at you. So you're working with them until they get pointed the right way. Use their own swimming momentum to help get them over the rail. And then you get them up and over that rail as low as possible and with as little line out as possible so you don't end up high sticking. Hopefully we'll get to show you a couple more examples, but that is the gist of it. Don't high stick, catch that line if you can so the fish never touches the carpet, but if you have to, land them on a wet spot or the net. That's the best thing for them. Oh, 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 oh yeah! <laughs> that hurt! <laughs> Woo, buddy! Mm. <laughs> That's gonna be a frog print. <laughs> wow! Oh man. That was 
subtle. Dude, that was a strong report. Keep them low, catch that line. It's not hard, it just takes a little practice. <laughs> All right, guys, it's hot. Honestly, we'll probably keep fishing after this just because we just because we can. We missed a bunch, yeah. But uh, it's hot, so we're going to shut the camera down and relax for a little bit. But what we're doing, 7.3 extra heavy, bully wah 2, that's the little Allen color. <laughs> little Allen. Uh, we'll link you all the gear down in the video description like always, but guys, that's the gist of boat flipping. We know some guys love it, some guys hate it, but even the guys that hate it, you want the guys that are going to do it to understand how to do it right so they're not hurting the fish. So that's the gist of it. Takes a little bit of practice, but you can do it without hurting those fish at all and then get them a quick, clean release. Guys, we appreciate you coming along with us. We had a blast. We'll do it again soon. Yeah, happy 4th, guys. Happy 4th of July. <laughs>